guys. Hope you enjoyed watching my latest project. Today I'm going to show you how to make a scene just like this one using green screen footage and some 3D magic. We have four main elements. Our 3D environment, green screen footage, the 3D track and finally we have our rendering and compositing. It doesn't really matter which software you use, the principles and techniques stay the same. I personally use Cinema 4D but you could be using Blender as well. It doesn't really matter, at the end of the day it's about the artist, not the software. First, let's create our 3D world using photography reference. I use this picture to match the perspective of the camera. This is not necessary, but it helps to create a base for the 3D modeling. Also make sure the scale of the scene is correct. Now start modeling your scene. Start with basic shapes and keep adding detail to it. Detail that nobody is really gonna notice, but in the end it makes a huge difference. The goal is to make it look real. Next up is the lighting of the scene. Here I modeled a light tube using an emission texture. Duplicate the lights using cloner, adjust some parameters and that's it for the lighting. Now it's time to add all the textures. You can use polygon, quixel bridge or make your own textures. Like these signs for example. I UV mapped the geometry and created my own textures and after effects. After a little bit of work you should have something that looks like this. Obviously it takes up a lot more time than I'm displaying here, but it's to give you the basic idea. As an extra, I added this 3D sub A to my scene. I personally think it adds a lot of movement to the scene and it makes it a lot more interesting. You can get these models from TurboSquid. That's what I used for this project. Next is your real footage element. You should have a clean backdrop to work with and make sure the lighting of the scene matches that of your 3D environment. In this case, we use an overhead lighting setup to match the ceiling lights of the subway. It's not perfect at all, but for this, it worked out just fine. Always shoot with a high shutter angle to get rid of all that motion blur. You can add it later in post. Now you can start keying out all your green skin elements. Make sure the key is as clean as possible. It's about the details. Then we add all the motion blur back into the footage. I personally use real smart motion blur. After this, you can add your keyed out footage to your 3D environment. If the camera on set was moving, then you need to 3D track your scene. Place your footage on a plane and make sure it always faces the camera, because it's a 2D element in 3D space. If the camera was successfully tracked, then you can place it in your scene. Really make sure the 3D track is solid so it matches the footage perfectly. You can line up the key in the 3D program or do it afterwards in the compositing. In my project, I rendered it out separately. After all these steps, your footage should match perfectly. If it doesn't, double check the frame rate and check if the 3D track isn't off. Then it's time to render it all out and composite the final shot. Extract the shadows from the green screen or just duplicate the layer and place it on the ground. This way we fake the shadows. This can also be done directly in a 3D program. I think this way it's usually more accurate. Then we add all the little details like grains, chromatic aberration, to make it look like it was shot on an actual camera. Next, make a cool edit with some music, color grading, sound design, and there you have it. There's a lot to it, but once you have the first shot down, it's really a matter of repeating the process and along the way you also learn something. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and you learned as much as I did from this project. Keep creating, keep sharpening that sword and get after it. Yeah.